What's up guys, welcome back to MFOF. Today I'm going to be doing a video I've been wanting to do for a long time. And I am super excited to finally be doing this. So as we all know, it's getting to the end of the year, you know. When I'm recording this, 2023 is only... 2023 is only four days away, but when this goes out, it'll probably only be... But when this comes out, it'll probably only be three days away. So yeah, it's perfect for today's video is the top 10 ghost moments of 2022 on my YouTube channel. As you may or may not know, I am a paranormal investigator. And I've been to over 15 paranormal places across three different states. After 2023, it'll be at least two more states. So yeah, you can stay tuned for that. But yeah, so we've been to many, many places over... 2022 and i'm doing the top 10 countdown for all of the haunted things that's happened okay so yeah this isn't our first honorable mention that didn't quite make the top 10 but it was still super like weird and freaky so for those who don't know what this is i'm gonna like try to block the light so you can see the light up see that this is an EMF reader. It detects electric magnetic fields. It's currently going off because I have my phone right here. It's like... So yeah, my phone's making it go off. But yeah, scientists also think that spirits are made up of electric magnetic fields. EMF. So this is what can be used to detect spirits. This is just a cheap one you can get. But in the investigation, you're using an expensive one. And it actually labels how much EMFs we're getting in milligosses. And the highest we ever got was around 30. And that's like, 30 is insane. Like, that's like, insane. But what we got in this next clip is unheard of. I'm going to play it right now. This is, I'm telling you, this is. Oh, look, 107. Oh, my God. 107. So, yeah, that was the clip of all of us getting 107 on the EMF. The camera didn't show it because I wasn't sh recording the EMF reader at the time. But we got 107, and you could hear it was like, beep, 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 beep. And we all just ran out of there. So, yeah, that was the first honorable mention. And next up, we have one more honorable mention. Now, this honorable mention, it's the last one. It's, like, it's definitely, like, confusing. In order to understand this next clip, you have to understand the backstory of the house we're at. So, we're at the Blossom House, which is, like, this big building in downtown Kansas City. And during World War II, it was actually used to make props for uh, World War II planes. And we didn't think we would get anything from it, but we left a recorder on the upstairs haunted bed and the whole time we we're exploring the house i wouldn't call that a house but it was like a big warehouse building we could not hear any airplanes at all and after we went back and we checked the recording all we could hear was propeller airplane noises you could actually hear the propellers on them and it was like a whole bunch of times and that's really freaky since they used to make propeller planes for world war ii in that building so yeah, if you want to see the clip, it's right here.
So yeah, now we're finally in our top 10. So this is number 10. In this video, we are in the Malvern Manor, which is in Iowa. We are on the first floor level. And we are off in the side hallway, which is called Shadow Man's Hallway. Which is like, it's considered to be the most haunted part in the whole building. And people say they get chased by shadow figures. But we were exploring a room off the side of that hallway. And in it, it was like pitch black in there. All we had was like some flashlights and my GoPro. And there was a ball in the middle of the room. And... I kicked it, and you're going to have to just watch and see the what the motion the ball did, but I don't think it's normal for a ball to do this, so you guys just watch the clip right here. Yeah. Hey, did you see it's going? Did you see it going dead? There it goes again. It's... There it goes. Did you have one? Yeah. Does it seem not like cold? Huh? It's like it's kind of like, oh. There. Are you kicking it towards me? What's this? It's going to torture you. Oh. oh! Oh, it's going to torture her. That was going in a circle. Like, it was, she was trying to get away yeah. from it. It was going in a circle. Then she was like, that one. going to torture you. Okay, this next clip is, like, super exciting. We're getting into the interesting stuff. And so for number nine, we were at the infamous Sally House, which, if you don't know, it's probably the most famous haunted house across America. It's not necessarily the most haunted, but definitely the most famous, probably. And I've toured it twice, but this is the second time we toured it. And, and in this clip, we were using cat balls, which is what a cat ball is. If, if you turn it on, it lights up, which I'm going to set that still. Okay, it turned off. If it senses motion, it will turn on. So, yeah, basically... So yeah, that's what a cat ball does. It's, it, if, if it senses any sort of motion, it will turn on. And this is just on a wood floor, so it's like easy. This cat ball was set on a soft chair on top of carpet. And in the video, I stomped on the ground. It did not turn this, it would not activate this. But, so it wasn't us, but just watch what the cat ball did. Can you sit down on that chair? Bro. Yeah, Dylan. Make it play. It's calm. Oh, look at it. Guys, look. It's going to red. That's what's going on. Is the thing bouncing? Uh, this one back here was bouncing to red. It's... Mm -hmm. I hate you. Yeah, because it's not going off anymore. No, there's no vibration over there. Unless it's airflow. Is there any airflow over there? See, I can jump and it doesn't go off. I'm jumping and it doesn't go off. Huh. Next up, it's another clip that uses cat balls, and this one is definitely a lot more creepier. That's why it's in a higher spot at number eight, at number eight. And so we're in a graveyard. It's not necessarily known to be haunted. That's why I didn't have a backstory for it in the video, but I can definitely say after going there that it's. It's definitely active with something, and I don't know what, but it's definitely active with all the things we caught there. But yeah, 
we put a couple of cat balls on some graves there. And we were just like sitting there asking questions. And yeah, you can see what the cat balls did. Oh my gosh, it is going off. Guys, it's going off. Hold on. Guys. Dude. That's crazy. Can you touch one of the other ones? Or can you touch that one again? Dude, it's going off again. Thank you. We're we're about to leave so to go some up to some other graves. Wait, can you pick up that box? Oh, dude, it's going off again. That's crazy. Okay, so number seven is the last cat ball clip of the whole video, but it's definitely the most craziest one ever. Once again, we're on the Blossom House where you have the plane noises but, uh, in one of the honorable mentions. But yeah, this is the same day we went there. We left the camera rolling at a table. We had two cat balls going. The one in the back never went off, but the one at the table... Keep in mind, this is only the span of like 30 minutes and that's how much it went off. Just watch. Next up, number six. This was our first, like, visual evidence of a ghost on camera, or just in general for all of us there. 
and it kind of left us speechless. We were like, we had no idea what to think of this as our first visual find, and I my camera battery died when we discovered this evidence, but we obviously still have the pictures, so I'm going to put the before and after up on the screen. If you thought those images were creepy, we are now in the top five. Like, if you thought if you thought six was creepy, the rest of the in the video, the, like I can't, none of these it, you can explain. These will leave, leave you speechless. So at number five, we are at the McIntyre Villa again, which is the same one with the 170 EMF or with the 170 EMF, but. We are back. This is the same visit. We we're in the attic, and there's only three people in the attic. Me, my mom, and this other person. You can see sort of a mist shadow thing go across the table thing, and you could hear no footsteps. I wasn't moving because the camera was still. My mom, she was on the opposite side, so she were like she couldn't have created the shadow thing. And the other person there, like, you can see him kind of on the video, and you could hear no footsteps, like, no one was moving, and you can see it go across the table. So, yeah, and at number five, here you go. If anyone is here, could you move any of those skeletons? The amount of temper in here is still in pretty good shape, but they need to be taken care of. Okay, yeah, next up on number four, we're once again at that graveyard, and we had a little twist to turn on flashlight, meaning if you twist it, it'll turn on the flashlight, and we put it right on, like, right before it turned off, put it, like, right there so it was easy to twist and turn, we put on the grave, and we didn't think anything would happen, because we've never had anything like that ever happen, or any, before that, or anything ever happened after that, that was even close to that, or how, like, scary that was. So yeah, the crazy thing was, I asked, I said, is there anybody here who can turn off that flashlight? And right then, uh, something crazy happened. So yeah. Are you seeing that? It's dimming. Look. Hey, good job. Oh, holy cow. Good job. Light. What did it say? Light. Light? Yeah, come on. Here, read it. It said light. Come on. I don't need to proof. I, I try. I, Here, I think I'd rather get the flashlight turning off on camera. I don't know how well we can Here, see this. The last word was light. Light? Dude, I don't know how well you can see this on camera. But dude, that light keeps on dimming. And that's just a light. Good job. I don't know if you can see it that well. Like, I tried my, like, it, it's very small on the camera. But if you focus hard enough, you can definitely see it dimming. It didn't fully turn off, but it was definitely dimming. Or, like, kind of, like, flashing. It was, it was, whatever it was, I can't explain it. Like, it, but yeah, like, I don't know if you can see it was kind of small. But I, I tried to, I zoomed in the video but yeah but yeah and at number three so the final three my paranormal team is called the screamers and consists of me my mom and my grandma the top three are just i don't know what to say to them they're like they're just eerie they're paranormal they're just scary kind of so at number three this was our first ever experience we went to the sally house just because we were interested we this was the first time there our first haunted house we've ever gone to 
We did not think anything was going to happen. None of us believed in ghosts. Nothing happened. If it wasn't for this one clip that happened, I would have never been back to a haunted house. Like, I just would have thought, thought they were fake. But since this one thing happened, our whole paranormal team got started. So it was a very important clip. And you just have to watch for yourself. There's no, like, visual evidence. Or I don't even think... I don't know if you can hear it, but you can definitely see all of us react to it. So, yeah. It's cold right there. It's cold right there. Okay, never mind. No, I'm not leaving. That's a short bit. Dude, look how small. <laughs> look at that man. What was that? I don't know. What was that? What? There was like a someone go. Someone was running. Like running. And someone I just felt, ran. Did you feel the carpet? Yeah. So the whole carpet just jiggled. You're not afraid of that. It was like right, oh right. There's footsteps there. right there. It Those little footsteps. Like it went like this. It went. It went. Like yeah, right exactly, here, exactly. And it, like, it was right here, and, like, brrr, and yeah, you saw you me can, jump in at you. And you can feel the vibrations, and it was like right here. Yeah. Like, it was right there, and we just fall. Like. So, yeah, that one clip it started everything. All my paranormal experiences and all my investigations, that one thing started it all. So, yeah, number two. But you're going to have to understand that number two was right after number one on the spot. Like, you haven't seen number one yet, which I, and I'm not going to, I'm going to show that last. But you have to remember, number one was just insane. And after that, we were, like, running down the hallway, and um, we got to a stopping point. We finally thought we were, like, away, and just, we were in this, like, dining room area, kind of. And you're just gonna have to see all the events that happened. Those are the back side steps, right? Yeah, it is. Go first. Don't leave. I'm sorry we have to go. I wish I could spend more time and talk with you. I'm sorry about being in this type of place. We gotta leave, okay? Somebody will be back tonight. There's some other visitors coming tonight. Goodbye. It makes me want to cry. What? So yeah, number two was scary. Right after number one happened, we were going to go upstairs. It said, don't leave. And when we were going up the stairs, we caught an image of just something unexplainable. Just something following us up the stairways. I don't know if it was what we found in number one. Or I don't know if it was some, the one that said number, or, or the one that said don't leave. I have no idea what it was, but it was scary. I don't know. I don't have much to say about number one, besides that you're just going to have to watch it, but it was like one of the most scariest things that's ever happened to me. Um, we are in the Edinburgh Manor. It's in Iowa. We can all agree on my ghost team that it was definitely the most haunted place we've ever been to, and we would like to go back, but it's like five hours away. But what I'm saying is, Number one, out of everything I've done in the past whole year and past, it's like 
number one thing ever, the most scariest thing, and it was just so much things happened all in just like two minutes, and you just just gonna have to watch. We're not trying to mess with your tools. Can you let us know you're here? I know you like taking care of this place and keeping it nice. You have a lot of work to do. Can you touch one of us and let us know you're here? We won't touch your stuff though. Go faster. What? Go faster. Why? I've never picked up your hand. Can we add that? I heard this. Meal? Yes. Yes. I think we can all agree what just happened in that clip was just insane. The most. Like, nothing in that whole house has happened yet until that. Which, we're like, I don't know. Is this house real? Is this, like, because we never know if the owners are, like, faking it to get money. But we 100% believe that house is haunted after that one clip. Let alone, right after that, number two happened with the door and everything. And the stairwell. It was just crazy. But, yeah. It's the end of the video. It's the end of the year, 2022. I'm going to share our plans so far. Of everything paranormal that we're going to do in 2023. It's exciting. So in 2022, we've on camera, we've been to seven different haunted houses that have been on camera. And of all of that, so yeah, we've been to seven different haunted houses on camera. But next year, we're going to two more states. Kinda, you'll see what I mean by that. We're going to two more states. I'm not, and we're probably going to at least 15 haunted houses, which across two different trips. One maybe spring break, one maybe summer break. So, so yeah, the spring break ones will probably come out around the end of May, and the and the summer ones will probably come out for Ghosttober next year. Maybe I don't know, but that's gonna be a lot. A lot of videos, two whole different states. Kinda, you like. I'm not gonna give up my plans, but we're doing couple in Illinois, like a bit more in Missouri, and a whole bunch in Oklahoma. So it's gonna be crazy. Three different states, uh, two new states we have never been haunted housing. But yeah. Just stay tuned. Next year is going to be insane if you're into the paranormal stuff. But yeah, I hope you like this video. Have a great New Year's, whatever. But yeah, bye.